Howdy, Scary Gary. I'm glad you guys came back. Well, we're leaving St. Louis and we're heading to Springfield, Missouri. One of the things we're going to do down there is we're going to see our new family member. It's going to be one of my highlights of this trip. We're going to be staying in the Cook's RV Motor Park. It's, it had a pretty good rating on uh, Campendium and uh, a few of the other apps that I have. And it was a fairly small little campground. It was all gravel and spots were a little bit tight. They gave us a pull through. Uh, so you pulled through and you couldn't even keep your vehicle parked in the front. At least a, big, uh, a trailer of my size, which I'm 35 foot on my camping trailer. So I had to park like in the parking area, which was across the road that's there. So I went down to the bathrooms, they're clean. And one thing neat they did, they gave you a little puck that you use to get into the bathrooms and the wash houses and things. And they had rules of COVID right now, which the bathhouses were open, the laundry was open. And the only thing I think was closed was the hot tub, you know, and they did do recommend social distancing and things like this. Now, we didn't use the restrooms because I mean, since COVID, we've been pretty much using our own our own facilities. But it, it was fairly nice. And it was kind of neat having that little puck that you just turned back into them afterwards. But the number one thing that was really good, they had great internet. We were able to stream Netflix all night long and no interruptions it was just you know so so that was one of the blessings of it I, you know i usually i always ask you know hey is it okay to stream and they say oh yeah yeah we've got a lot of business people here and you know so that was number one highlight so i can kind of deal with a little bit of the not quote concrete streets or you know the picnic areas which honestly we're just using it to spend the night because and then we're going to take a look at our new family member the next day. But what do we get to do today, Mary Lou? Go see your puppy. Uh, he's about three weeks old. Oh, eyes, eyes just opened up yesterday. They uh, they sent me some pictures, so I'll put him in the I'll put him in this field here. So, but it's going to be a good day. <laughs> it's going to be hard not to take him home, but he's too little. Oh, he's too little. Yeah, it's just he's not ready to go home yet. He needs. He needs, he needs some suckling yet. He needs from, his you know, mommy. He needs his mommy. Yep. So. Let's talk a little bit about our new family member, which we've decided to name Finley. Uh, we got him from Don Jack's Karen Terriers out of Mansfield, Missouri. And uh, we we had a Karen, we, we, you know, we had Oz for 16 and a half years and we're heartbroken when, when he left us and uh, we debated whether to get a Labradoodle or uh, a few different dogs and we kind of zeroed back in on the Karen Terrier that we really liked, you know, just liked their intelligence, liked their personality and just, I mean, you know, Oz left a big hole. So, um, so we started looking and unfortunately in the greater Houston area, there was, we only found one person that was raising them and he was actually kind of in between breeding stocks and it was going to be a couple of years before he, he was able to produce puppies again. And then we found a pet store, which they wanted a lot of money. I said to Mary Lou, hey, we got a trailer, you know, we can travel as long as it's not, you know, the other side of the world, you know, we can travel up there and have place to stay and everything. And it gives, gives me a reason to go camping and you know me and I love to have a reason to go camping. So we started looking and actually Mary Lou found them online. And I mean, they've been in business for, I think since 1980s since the 1980s is what their website is. I'll put a link down in the show notes so you can get, you know, you can go to their webpage. And if you're interested, you can call them. And uh, great, I mean, not championship dogs, but 
good pet dogs. That's what everybody was saying, all the reviews that she found. So, so we went over there and uh, we saw our new puppy. And again, he just opened his eyes up. So he was, you know, brand new, but I think we're going to be pretty happy with him. And we're going to have, we're going to be able to come up when he's eight weeks old and uh, hopefully take him home. And ho if he is half the dog of Oz, well, I'll be happy, but I got a feeling he's going to, he's going to be, he's going to be a pretty good dog once we get past the puppy stage. One additional thing that we were able to do while we were up there was I got to meet up with an old friend. Uh, he was a friend through high school. He was a fraternity brother, roommate. Uh, matter of fact, he was the best man at Mary Lou's in my wedding. Um, and the last time I saw him, which is bad to say, was like 1986 at a class uh, at a high school reunion. So a few years have gone by and he looks like he kept his hair, but unfortunately I didn't keep mine, but uh, it's very good to, to meet up. The theme of this trip has been visiting family, visiting old friends, and just getting in touch. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and I sure hope to see you next week. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Click the comments down below. Subscribe and you'll make me happy. <laughs>